How's it going guys? Hope you're having a great day out there, a great night, wherever you're at. I'm a little tired right now. We uh, we just got to the beach this morning at 6 a.m. after shooting a 10 hour wedding yesterday. Me and my wife, we drove through the night. Don't know how we did it. I'm wore out, but I'm excited. And I just want to put this video up today really to thank you guys. My channel hit a thousand subscribers, which I know in the YouTube world is nothing compared to a lot of people out there but I'm just so thankful I'm appreciative for this channel and I'm appreciative for everyone who watches whether you watch for 30 seconds and give it a thumbs up or or watch for the whole video I'm very thankful for that so thank you and what I wanted to do as as tired as I am I wanted to celebrate in in typical me fashion and just go on a walk uh, to shoot one of my favorite simulations of course we're going with the fanny pack Got the Fuji X-T3 loaded up with my custom Acros simulation. I'm gonna put the settings here on the screen so that you guys can see that. And it's kind of funny because when I think about the beach, you know, it's obviously a very colorful place. Uh, so it's kind of weird to shoot it in black and white, but I wanted to try it out just to kind of see what I could get. I really love this profile. It's so clean. Uh, it, it retains detail very well uh, with the settings that I have dialed in. So I want to bring you guys along for the ride, really just to celebrate this community and, and once again, show my appreciation to you guys. I know lately you've really been loving the Fuji videos, which is funny because I've, I've only been shooting recipes now, like, well, for the second time. I've been shooting recipes for the second time now for a couple months, um, but I really like the recipes. I love shooting JPEG. Uh, it's easy. I shoot, I download straight into my phone and, and I can post or I can keep those pictures. I don't have to worry about editing. So that's been really fun. It's been it's been a fun workflow for me lately as far as my personal stuff goes. And, and I've really challenged myself to get out and shoot a picture, at least one picture every single day. Uh, whether I feel like it or whether I don't, I challenge myself now just to shoot something. I challenge you guys to do the same. Once again, going back to a previous video, uh, it just keeps us sharp. It keeps our skills honed in. We see stuff that we may not have seen had we left this sitting on the shelf or sitting at the house. So thank you guys once again for joining. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into it. So I'm gonna try to keep the talking head to a minimum because uh, I really just want to shoot pictures and, and let you guys enjoy that with some with some chill music behind it. Everybody seems to like that. But one thing that I did want to say about Acros in particular and, and the way that I have my Acros set up is I love the retention in the highlights. I can push it, you know, one stop overexposed and I still get good retention in the highs and obviously with it being digital, you're gonna get retention in the shadows. But that's one thing that I really like about this custom profile. Versus, if you remember one of my other videos when I was shooting the Ilford HP5 recipe, now I'm not sure how HP5 film actually behaves. I've got a roll of it in my A1 and that's gonna be in a future video. But the HP5 recipe seems to be very, very punchy and contrasty. And when you when you push it, it's hard to, it's hard to retain highlight detail. So that's one thing that I like about the Acros is I can push it, it retains that detail, still get everything that I need to in the image as far as my shadows and my highs go. But it just has some really good tones to it. So if you like that setting, go ahead and dial that into yours as well. And if you have any setting for your your Acros or any of your black and whites that you shoot on your Fujis, put those in the comments below. I, I would love to try some of those just to see how they work out with me. really quick even though we have the fanny pack on today I have it in sling mode I'm gonna try that out see how it works I know I know I really enjoy it in fanny pack mode that is maximum dad levels if you like the fanny pack that is a hex brand and I've had it now probably for about a year 
year and a half and it's, it's holding up great. I use it pretty regularly. I'll be honest, I've been needing this vacation for a while. We've <laughs> we've had a lot of life happen since the last vacation, but once again, I'm, I'm so thankful for the place that we're in. Wow, that was loud. So thankful for the place that we're in, and, and I can't thank you guys enough for supporting us little guys here on YouTube. I know I'm not full-time. I know I'm not the most consistent with my posting at times, but I love the way this community reacts, uh, even to us little guys here on YouTube. And hopefully it's an inspiration to anyone. I tell anyone and everyone, one of the best things you can do for yourself is start a YouTube channel. Uh, you really find out a lot about yourself. One being how disciplined you are or, or how disciplined you are not. Also, unashamedly, I'm gonna post some of my family pictures from earlier today. Um, obviously didn't occur on this photo walk, but I was still shooting an Acros nonetheless. And once again, it's, it's a great profile just to, to run a gun with, um, especially when you've got a two and a half and a three year old who can't be still for more than like half a second. Uh, it's a really good profile to use if you're shooting black and white. Now for color, obviously I have recipes for a million different looks that I really enjoy, but the Acros in particular is just a great point and shoot and, and you've got wonderful results. Big smile. 